Right, hello everyone. Here we are. I'm setting up my bag for hole number two. I'm going to go quarterback here. We're going to go turkey ball as well. And this is a power two ball. I put on some extra percentage here that I'm going to go. Let's go plus 20. Let's try that. And let's just take a look at this hole. Looks like my opponent here also going with turkey. Um, especially if you're going to use a ball with very limited side spin, uh, I would recommend going for this rough, rough hop here that you're going to see me go for. As opposed to lining up like this on the fairway, um, which is going to almost certainly require some curl. And once you start to do that curl, you really lose a lot of precision. So, um, you know, there's really no value in bringing a turkey ball. I mean, you could have did that with Kingmaker, for example. So ideally, you know, you want to kind of set up your balls to have no curl, if at all possible. So let's go up here first off by this tree up here. Let's just see. I'm assuming, you know, we're going to try to make sure that second bounces on the fairway. So, you know, keep in mind how I'm setting up here and how my guides kind of threw the hole a little bit. Um, I'm just going to go 10 rings. I don't have enough time to set this up. That'll kind of be my own. Uh, I was just kind of, you know, taking my sweet old time. And you can see that I'm kind of into the bush here, which is going to make this you know, a little bit tougher. Looks like I got my perfect ball. Let's just see what this looks like. I know it's in the neighborhood of 10 rings and looks like I was able to get it. So there you have it. Um, let's, let's just kind of size that up. It looks like um, an extra 20% would have been 10 rings. So somewhere right around 10 rings, you can see the biggest problem there on that hole is gonna be that tree. And, you know, setting up, you could see that uh, they put that tree in and they put that wind at a direction which makes it kind of purposely hard for you to adjust. You can't actually see the rings that you're going. So you're going to have to find some kind of manipulation trick. It doesn't look like you'll be able to flip the screen and go the other way because the tree is going to be in the way. So you probably have to rotate the way that I just did to kind of keep your view vantage point kind of as good as you can um, with minimal interference. And you might just want to offset that bullseye a little bit so you can get a little bit more precise. Because the one thing you can't really tell is exactly how many rings I just went there. Um, and especially going down to that lower ground, you can see that it's very hard to zoom in one downhill shots like that. So um, it will be hard to be very precise on that, but there you can see that it will be manageable. And you can see that I was able to actually get it to drop with about a 20% extra and use still using my max number. Even though it looks like I'm at min club, I'm going to use the max number because it's that much downhill. So definitely keep that in mind. Uh, good luck with that hole, guys, and see you on hole three coming up.